Hey guys, you're watching BTECT. I am Basil and this is a video comparison across the View 10 and the Mate 10 Pro. Two different setups with regards to megapixels and whatnot, but very, very similar smartphones internally and externally as well in many respects. Jump onto that in a sec, but before I do a shout out to our sponsors, directmobiles.co.uk, delivering excellent customer service and deals across the UK for the last 23 years. And they've also got a video comparison on their site of the iPhone 10 and the Samsung Galaxy S8. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. Also, Filofax, giving tablets the world over a leg to stand on with any tab 360, the perfect gift to prop up your pad this Christmas. Right back to these two phones, both made by Huawei. And you can see instantly the front cameras, wide angle of view on the View 10 than you have on the Mate 10 Pro. It also looks a little bit washed out. It's high resolution on the View 10, I do believe. Um, and yeah, I think you've got a bit more detail, a bit less flattering, but maybe more true to life because it's pretty late and I'm probably pretty tired and it shows. Let's see how the rear cameras stack up. Image stabilization is optical on the Mate 10 Pro. It is not on the View 10. You've got a wider angle of view, however, on the View 10. On screen, bearing in mind they are different screens, one is an IPS, one is an OLED, they do look a little bit different. The white balance is a little bit different and the picture generally is. But one thing that we can see is we've got a very, very cute cat here. So we can get a little bit closer to his face and he's wondering what we're doing. We're tapping on his face. It's tap to focus and tap to expose. The View 10 isn't as zippy at focusing um, it would appear as the Mate 10 Pro can pan out, tap again, and it refocuses and exposes. I'm tapping on his fur. If I tap on a lighter portion of the display, then the exposure is generally a lot more pleasing across both devices. Tapping on his face now, and you can see they both re-expose and refocus. Can now try out the uh, zoom, digital zoom. It's always going to be digital on these two devices. They have different sensor sizes, um, but they both go in up to a six times. The View 10 is having a bit more trouble than the Mate 10 Pro locking in there. Also, my handshake is coming through a little bit more. As I zoom out, we can see the kind of zoom smoothness across both of them is relatively similar, but that wider angle on the View 10 means you don't get quite as close with your max MM zoom. Can now try out some exposure shifting. So let me just point up to the light down to the cat, up to the light, down to the cat. It's night time now and we got the Christmas decorations and we've also got the handshake and the low light and the car headlights. So it's pretty horrible conditions for these two phones. Also be able to pick up a little bit more ambient background noise as well as I walk my heavy, heavy footsteps testing the electric, testing the optical image stabilization to the max. What's that in the distance? A mad Christmas house? Yes, it is. And that's a perfect place to stop and test out the digital zoom in the dark. So you can see the V10 actually seems to be exposing better. It's underexposing a little bit more. You've got a wider aperture, but as soon as I tap on the lights, it starts to bring the exposure down on the Honor on the Mate 10 Pro. Can now go to full max zoom or we'll have to do some handy finger maneuvering in order to get that up. And we can focus on that red star thing. And you can see the View 10 is struggling. Let me tap on the screen and we're back. But the View 10 is struggling again and we're back. So generally from these kinds of tests, I'm getting that the View 10 isn't quite as good when it comes to focus, but exposure may even be a little bit better. Let me know what you thought in the comments section below. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button, like the channel, subscribe. It's how you stay on top of everything that we do. Thank you for watching BTECT.